Hi guys, as you all know, preparation is already started for the UPSC Deputy Architect exam. So first of all, let's understand the concept behind the arch. So every arch, what it will do is, it will withstand the vertical forces for the provision of opening. So arch does the support of a vertical load, whatever the load is coming from top. It will withstand by axial compression. So let's understand the parts of an arch so this is an arch normally what we will do is uh, in the center of an arch this element is called keystone so it's like a lock for total for the total arch it will lock the wedges whatever the wedges uh, that are needed for construction of arch this keystone will lock all the wedges so each wedge that means each part of this semicircular type it is called washia washia and also consider uh, the point at which the arch is resting this particular is point is called spring this particular point is called spring and also the last wedge which is at the spring point is called springer the main important thing is the inner side of the wedges that means this whatever the face is there the inner curve or surface of an arch this is called intradose likewise the exterior surface of an arch is called extradose suppose uh, we have any embellishment mouldings etc on top of uh, like decorative things uh, on top of arch so these decorative things are called as archy revolt arch revolt okay and also whatever is the height of arch from the midpoint of a keystone to the horizontal of the imposed base it is called rise so these are the main important things in the arch once again i will revise first one is mainly what arch will do is arch will arch will support the vertical forces through axial compression this is the first point second one is whatever the outside surface is called extradose inside surface of the arch is called intradose all the wedges these are locked by a center stone it's called keystone the last wedge which is resting on the impost that means on the base it is called springer and the point is called spring and each wedge is called washia so understood guys so this is our first lesson of the upsc deputy architect preparation all the best